I was very interested in uh, Doug's screencast about how he uses his Mac Pro. Uh, Doug is of course very interested in uh, productivity and there were some really nice tips. Uh, some of the web applications, especially this IFTTT I had not seen and, and tend to explore. Uh, he also asks other people um, if they'd be interested in doing this. I thought I'd give it a wee shot. I think I use my Mac quite differently than, than Doug. Doug used spaces extensively uh, and that's something I don't use. I tend just to have um, lots and lots of things oops, lots and lots of things open at once and uh, I tend to shift through my open applications with the uh, command tab which is suits my way of working. Um, my main browser is Safari which is a built-in Mac browser. Uh, I, I like it for a couple of reasons. Um, one, it's pretty quick to launch. Uh, I like some of the, the add-ons and things and it's, it's to me it feels slightly simpler than uh, than Firefox and other things. A few add-ons that I use, um, one is Safari Stand and I only really use that for one reason is because when I control click or right click I can copy link HTML tag which is very handy for writing web pages or blogging. Um, I can also use the wee widget up here to do the same thing for the whole page. I've got the developer menu turned on which is handy for opening the page with another browser when I do want to use another browser um, and also the debug menu is sometimes useful because um, I do a wee bit of web stuff uh, I'm interested in inspecting various things on a web page and this is a wee bit like I think Firebug for Firefox but somewhat simpler I can see all the resources on the page um, have a wee look at them um, the images and various scripts and things that have been used and uh, of course check the console for various uh, JavaScript errors which is quite handy. Unlike an awful lot of other people um, I'm still hooked into um, mail for my email, the Apple Mail. Um, I use a .Mac account, got a family set up there so family all use it and it also syncs my bookmarks between using mobile me it syncs my bookmarks between uh, my home Mac and one my desktop machine at at work. Another application I spend an awful lot of time in is Textmate, which is a a text editor for programmers. Now I'm not really a, a programmer but it is very good for you writing HTML and blog posts. It's just an old blog post I've got and with a keyboard shortcut it's quite easy to um, preview. Another keyboard shortcut will post it to my blog with the MetaWebLog API and the, one of the great things is that if you have for instance an image down here I can drag that into TextMate and just drop it in and click upload image and it'll upload it to my blog and insert the HTML for me. Uh, I'll just not bother with that at the moment. I very much like um, drag and drop. Another thing I use a lot for web stuff is a very nice wee image editor called ImageWell, which again you can paste or drag images into. It does some very simple editing. You can quickly add callouts or bubbles. Um, set the colour. It's a wee bit more flexible I think than things like Sketch um, and quite a simpler as well and it can be set up to send to my iDisk or send to my blog or send to Flickr straight from the application and the other thing again is I can drag and drop that and drop it into TextMate and it will uh, upload so it drags like as if you're dragging straight from the file so I don't actually have to save an image well I just drag it out of image well and use it if I do want to save it, I can just drag it out and drop it on the desktop there. My Finder, I tend to use, I never see my desktop because I've usually got a couple of windows open, and I constantly switch views from the column view to um, this view here. The just, I don't know what you call that, but I use it a lot. Um, 
and very often it's quite deep modified so I can see what I'm working at at the top. This folder here is inside of course Dropbox. It's the icon up there and Dropbox is just wonderful. I use it to sync uh, work files from various machines, a couple of work machines and my home machine and I also use it to keep things like TextMate, the settings in sync with each other and the one password which is the thing I use to fill in logins for various websites so I can remember my password and have decent big long complicated passwords without actually having to remember them uh, which is pretty nice. The other thing that I sync through there is an application called Fast Scripts. Fast Scripts is pretty important I think to my workflow for lots of things. It runs various Apple scripts from this widget in the toolbar. For instance I've got one here in Safari which will create a tiny URL for whatever page I'm on. So I've just and it puts it on the clipboard ready to paste. So that's a tiny URL to Doug's blog that's just gone in there. Um, it does all sorts of other things um, which are useful. I've got one there for posting a comment. So if I was in this post here, I can use a keyboard. You can see the keyboards are can be set in fast scripts. So I can use that keyboard there to attempt to submit this to my delicious links without having to open up delicious. So I like that sort of thing. And the other great thing about fast scripts if I switch to the finder, the scripts that are at the top of the menu are the ones that work in the finder. I have a few useful ones here that I use quite often. Um, this one here which will make a file name, uh, take all the capitals out and replace the, the spaces by underscores, which again is good for web stuff. And it copies the path of the file to the clipboard. So all sorts of scripts sit in there and they sync across my different machines. So I like that. I tend to use pretty standard Mac applications. I use keep my photos in iPhoto. I keep uh, use iMovie for editing movies. If I'm making documents, I would use Pages rather than Word. Um, I do have Word on most of my machines, but tend not to like to use it that much. Uh, but what I do use a lot is if I can just find a Word document. That's probably on there. Is hit the space bar and just see a quick look at a Word document. Um, that's a great tool when you can use all sorts of files. You can just preview very quickly an image file. Uh, you can use it to play MP3 files. Julian Woods. Brilliant. Hi. Without uh, having to open the application. So I, I like this quick look thing. I'm recording this in an application called ScreenFlow, which is records, you can see its icon sitting up in the menu bar there. I'm going to stop it in a wee minute. Uh, you can use QuickTime Pro to record, but ScreenFlow allows you to do a wee bit of quick editing and uh, zooming, which I quite like. Uh, I make a reasonable number of video podcasts, so I use this. The other thing of quick QuickTime I use is I use, as well as having QuickTime, X, I keep an old copy of QuickTime 7 um, on my machine because the it's a bit more flexible and scriptable than other applications. So that's some of the ways I use my Mac. I uh, hope you find that vaguely interesting.